the thing called giardia. What is giardia? Giardia is again a little uh, organism. It is a parasite. Uh, it's different uh, than uh, than the amoeba. Uh, it affects a different part of the same GI system, meaning it affects the part that's much closer to the stomach than the uh, amoeba, which is closer to the rectum. And as a consequence, the symptoms, although they might both share diarrhea and they both might both share abdominal pain, are a little bit different. Um, giardia, more commonly, you'll have some uh, uh, vomiting, and you might have a different type, a more watery diarrhea. Uh, with an entamoeba, you oftentimes would have a bloody diarrhea. You would never really expect to see a bloody diarrhea uh, from giardia. Giardia, again, like amoeba, uh, if it's not diagnosed, can be a chronic condition. It can last for weeks. It can last for months, in fact. you get it without traveling? Uh, giardia is one of the more common identified parasites within daycare centers in the United States. And how is that treated? Um, usually there is a, an antibiotic that's uh, treated uh, with it, and, and it's very effective in clearing it up. And again, you make the diagnosis by bringing the stool in. Um, the, because, as I say, it's in the upper part rather than the lower part, it can be a little bit tricky to make the diagnosis. And now there are new refined techniques where we not only look for the identification of the giardia itself, but just to a little piece of the giardia, which is referred to as the giardia antigen. Uh, a blood test oftentimes gives you evidence uh, of it as well. What's the name of that blood test? It's, you're looking for the antibody against the giardia. The doctor should certainly know how to send that out.